What's going on, my PT peeps? Welcome to the family and my fighters. I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead Rick and Michonne show. The filming title is Summit. Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. So first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to, I believe, TWDU promos for making this artwork. I found it on social media, but I saw that they are on the actual image. It's definitely something I want to give a shout out to because it's awesome. It's Photoshop, but it's pretty cool from the Michonne and Rick images that we saw in season 11, episode 24. But if you've seen the recent information, photos, news, all that good stuff for the Walking Dead Summit, you got to see Michonne look like this. So she is wearing the same jacket that Rick is wearing. Also, we see other people behind Michonne in this photo. She's also getting on a short bus, a little bus, whatever you want to call it. But Michonne has a group of other people with her with the jackets on. They're all wearing jeans and boots. So is Michonne the same place that Rick is at? Is Michonne captured? Is she acting like she's captured? Is she like, what up? No, this is between takes. But is she in danger? I think she is the danger, like Carol, right? She is the danger. Well, like Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. But Michonne is definitely rocking the same attire that Rick is. And you can see the boom mic above Michonne, so they are filming. She's giving a look like she's pissed off, so that's not good for whoever she's looking at, and she's probably gonna get on this bus. But Michonne being in the same area for filming could be connected with Rick's location, or it just could be a similar location where they filmed, but is Michonne in danger? I hope not, I don't think so. There's been mixed reports, a bunch of mixed reports about the Walking Dead universe, that Michonne and Rick find each other early on in the season, let alone series. But as you can see, she's walking among the other people that she's with wearing the CRM jackets and the jeans and the boots. So by my count, I believe there's five people with Michonne. And if you saw the other filming videos going around, Rick is by himself. So Michonne is not alone, but Rick is. Rick is walking around with Jadis, but Michonne has her people. So I'm interested about the timeline of things, like how many years have passed, Rick went away, Michonne, went out to look for Rick, the thing with Daryl, the kids that attacked Michonne and Daryl. It's just, a I don't know what to make of it, but Rick is by himself rocking the CRM jacket. Right here is with a fan where I guess he signed this uh, prop gun or replica gun of the Colt Python pistol that he has. Is Rick gonna get another revolver? I hope so. But again, Rick is having the same jacket and outfit that Michonne has. So does Michonne know where Rick is and she's trying to get to him? Or is Michonne captured too, like Rick? And I would assume there are both Bs. If you're an A, you're a test subject. If you're a B, you're a worker. But we know that Rick is going to be with Jadis. You know, someone brought up a good point about the red strap that Jadis is wearing. Danger, danger, red theory, red theory. But we know that Jadis survives. So who dies in connection with Jadis? can't be Rick, right? But what is this? Some people are like, it's a tracker. Some people are like, it's a pager. It's a phone. It's a walkie talkie. It's a stun gun. It's a, I don't know. It's just, what do you make of it? Why is it there? Cause he's definitely filmed with it on. Like right here, he has it on when they're filming. He walks away, Jadis comes to his right and they keep walking. So if it's a pager, why do they have an iPhone there? Why does CRM not get the cell towers working again? If they're so awesome and so capable and so amazing, get the cell phone towers up and running. So let's talk about the iPhone. There's an iPhone theory going around. We talk about it on the channel, but we saw the iPhone with Michonne and we are asking who did this? We might have an answer for you or at least part of an answer. So the translation of the text here says Rick believe a little bit longer. And we're like, okay, who did it? It's gotta be this place, right? So per Ed, what up my guy Ed? Penjiro, Penjiro is a Japanese boy's name and it means enjoys peace. So why does this mean anything, right? Well, this vendor, market, shop, whatever you wanna call it, has the etching on TVs right there, the same kind of etching that was on the iPhone. So whoever runs this shop here, 
did the etching on the iPhone and could it be Jadis that found an iPhone and got this to give Rick to make him believe a little bit longer, to hold out hope, to keep working, to keep doing it. We did think Jadis was connected with the iPhone because Rick went away with Jadis, but also she's connected with art portraits in there too. And we know that Judith and Michonne are on the iPhone and the etching. That's not Carl, that's Judith. So it looks like we're getting there, guys. We're getting possible answers and I'm excited for them because if you know me, I like answers. You can set up questions, but we need stuff answered. We hate plot holes. We hate loose ends. We hate all those things. And they're going to happen in shows. Look, I get it. I'm a realist. But also, I'm like, don't bring stuff up if you're not going to answer it at some point. There's 11 seasons of The Walking Dead. We need answers to some of these questions that still remain. But let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below, guys. Once we have information and spoilers, potential spoilers, confirmed information, this, that, and the other, we make a video. So definitely stay tuned for more Walking Dead videos. We post them once we know. But thank you guys either way for all the love and support. We truly appreciate it. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys.